Okay guys, I just wanted to make a quick video here so that uh, I can go over what the update means for the market and how we can uh, use this information and these updates to benefit us, to, for us to flip and make gold, uh, abusing the market, because that's what we do here with uh, RFG, we abuse the market. So let's take a look here. Uh, and first, for us to understand the update, we need to know what kind of rewards these updates are giving and how that's gonna influence players' decisions. And then if we know what the updates are rewarding people and how it's going to influence, you know, the average person's decisions, we can then say, okay, well, this, these are the items that are going to be in high demand. And these are the items that are going to maybe be in a lower demand and higher supply, lower supply values are going to shift. And like we saw with life pouches, the, the value of these items shifted quite a bit. But uh, so the thing with the arc pass is that when you buy the premium pass, I think it gets you up to like level 10 rather quickly. I know a lot of people hit level 10 and and um, and higher on the first day. So if you go to view all the rewards, it's actually pretty crazy the amount of, of uh, honing materials that you get. But it, what's really crazy is the amount of free life shard pouches, um, harmony shard pouches and honor shard pouches that you get. And that's why we saw such a re highly repressed and reduced value on tier two pouches again if we look at the market here when uh, search of life uh, you'll see that these went down like crazy these went down uh, about a third of the value these were i think selling almost uh, 160 170 gold at its peak on wednesday night so uh if you didn't sell wednesday night and sell up like i i suggest you probably got left you know literally holding holding the bag as, as they call it. So let's go look at Arc Pass and we'll, we will actually count out and I'll tell you how much you're gonna receive. 180 of these medium life shard pouches. So that translates to 180,000 shards. Another one of these rewards at level 13. So that's gonna be another 180 of these pouches and that's another 180,000 shards. So if you take that and you look also at the login rewards, which are, you know, from yesterday, this would be the 60 life shard pouches so again another 60,000 if you add all of them together it's about 420,000 shards that you could have gotten from just the arc pass and the login reward from yesterday so uh you know further down here you'll get more level 18 uh and again at level 23 so i'm not sure how long it's going to take for people to get the average person to get that far ahead in the arc pass probably going to take quite a while but again huge amounts of leap stones and destruction stones all of these items plus on thursday you have the you know the weeklies reset etc etc so things are going to be pretty cheap in the foreseeable future uh these might change these things might change in a in a, in a couple weeks as the prices kind of self-regulate and a lot of people blow through these early levels you can look at this super express event Ascent, I'm gonna be doing this today, but this event essentially just gives you a character from level 50 all the way up to roughly 1,000 or 1,100 eye level. It's a great fucking way to level up a brand new character to tier three. Uh, I highly recommend saving this and using this on a character that you, that you want as a tier three. I wouldn't put it on a tier two because you're gonna waste out on a lot of these honing uh, materials and these uh, greater success chances. I believe up until level 12, you can get instead of getting one level per upgrade you'll actually get two levels per upgrade and you will get more experience for your resources so it's it's a really good you know express character super express it's very speedy way to level up a, a fresh 50 to tier 3 or close to tier 3. i just want to take one real quick look at the fusion materials so a lot of people are saying, well, what's going to happen with Kaldars? What's going on with Kaldars? Well, the answer to that question is you can get these boxes at level eight, you get 400. Um, of, you could choose to get 400 of the Kaldars. And then at, uh, I believe further on here, but yeah, level 28, which is much further, you can get another 400 Kaldars. Now, the thing is, is that I don't think that most people will be going for Kaldars because if you look at the value of the Kaldar fusion materials, you get 200, but with basic and, and simple, uh, uh, you know, Orahas, let's just type that in, with simple and basic Orahas selling at 9 gold, and Kaldars, on, at least on NA East, selling for 4 to 5, I mean, it might be worth it, especially, and look at this huge wall at 5, it might be more worth it for people to grab more simple and Orahas, so I wouldn't really directly correlate 
that everyone would get Kaldar Fusion Materials, it's not wise to do. I would say that actually the average person is going to get a combination of the two. Kaldar Fusion Materials, you know, the first box of Kaldar Fusion Materials, maybe for their tier 2 character that they're leveling up. And, um, you know, Oraha, simple and basic for their tier 3 main. So, uh, that, that that's what I would imagine that the average player is going to do. Um, and these are just, you know, broad assumptions, but that's the assumptions that I'm making. Kaldar Fusion Materials, uh, they were at like 280,000 quantity yesterday. Um, these are now down to 216,000. And if you look at Red Flesh Fish and Natural Pearls, if you guys have been following along, the, the one gold buy wall and the two, um, for both Pearls and Red Flesh Fish is now gone. The Mari Store update will have increased new crystal bundles. Uh, they'll have more crystal bundles, probably cheaper value crystal bundles available in the store. And with that, I think that there's also going to be repression of value for, for pouches. So next, the big question is, well, what does this mean for the market? Well, if you look at the uh, chaos gates as a whole, we will see that the reduced tier two prices on pouches and market market sentiment in the next uh, few days, like going into this weekend, it's going to decrease the value of T1 and tier three items from chaos gates simply because tier, no one or less people are going to be running tier two chaos gates and, and running these maps so you know the, as a whole i think these items are going to become less valuable but um just because of the increased supply again there is a pretty high demand this weekend so they might kind of nullify each other but these are just some things some things to consider and you know chaos gates are going to be opening up saturday and they're going to be running on through till the weekend so that'll increase the supply and a thing to also keep in mind is that people have been holding onto these maps, waiting for the anti-scam prevention uh, map running. I did it earlier or yesterday, and it was pretty cool, pretty fast. So a lot of people have been stocking up tier two maps, and that will increase the supply on these items as well because they're going to run it, run all these maps they've been saving, um, you know, around around this weekend. So. Uh, in regards to blue crystals, I just want to talk about inflation and deflation in the market. It's that there will be upwards inflationary pressure due to people buying a lot of this experience uh, with blue crystals with the arc pass. And you can actually see uh, right here that you can purchase 100, per, 100 experience and that'll shoot your, you know, that'll that'll help you get levels through with the arc pass. And it's, it's very worth it. And then again, if you look at the Marty shop and you look at the currency exchange, the fucking prices have been going up like, uh, like crazy, right? So there's there's been a great amount of inflationary pressure. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be sustained for, but I would definitely keep an eye on um, inflation with the currency exchange. Now, what does it mean when there are more people in tier three content? Well, I, I want to answer that question because a lot of you guys have been asking, well, you know, if everyone's like getting up to tier three, does that mean items are going to go up in value? Does that mean items are going to go down in value? And historically, if we look at Lost Ark as a whole, if the more people that get into a higher level of content, the cheaper that those items will become, right? And it's just, uh, I don't care to argue about it. It's just historically, that's what happens. So that's kind of the data that we'll be going, using, right? So more people in tier three content and more alt in tier three content. This also means that there's going to be more gold inside of the market, right? There, we're going to have more gold inside of the market, more injections of gold from people running your weeklies and your Argos, et cetera, et cetera. So um, as long as people aren't pumping a ton of resources and gold into honing to like 1415 or 1445, um, we can assume that there's going to be inflationary action and uh and with inflation it's going to be a healthier economy guys if there if there's more gold inside of the system the less valuable gold becomes and if gold becomes less valuable then honing becomes a little bit easier you know maybe you can run a a, a chaos dungeon and you can sell your materials and then you won't uh, and you'll get enough gold that you can enhance your character right like my brother was doing his enhancements to 1370 and his major wall was gold just pure gold right that's that's awful that's really bad for the economy and that really hurts a lot of people but anyways uh and and i think that just like with a healthier economy more people are going to enjoy the game um you know I, again like the biggest hurdle is a lot of people not experience having enough gold to hone and so I would say that the more inflationary the economy is, the safer flipping and market analysis and trading becomes. That's when we've been trading on hard mode, you guys. Like RFG, Redfish Gang, you guys have been making a fuck ton of gold. You guys have been killing it. And not only have you guys been killing it, but you guys have been killing it in a deflationary fucking market. So when you guys get 2,000%, 3,000% returns in the last couple weeks 
on hard mode, it's it's very you know it's very impressive. I'm happy that you guys have all been making gold. I'm proud of you. We're no longer playing the mar mini market, uh, the market mini game on hard mode. More people will be able to progress, and and um, more people will be able to make money with these flips. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so so that leaves the question. It's like, what should I do? Well, first of all, you watch my stream, <laughs> and you buy into the items, and and you stay, uh, you know, you stay tuned on what other Redfish gang members are doing. We we talk about it on the Discord. We discuss all of the different methods. I can't spoon feed you all of the information that you need or tell you directly what items that you can buy. But what I can do is I can give you my knowledge of what's currently happening with the market, and then you can make your own decisions. Again, I cover NA East. We look at NA West and and EUC and stuff like that. So. Uh, definitely Definitely, if you are in any of those regions, or or just want to ask about what what you should be doing, feel free to come on the Twitch stream. I'm, all, I'm online between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, Monday to Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays uh, for for the flips that are happening. You can be sniping items. Sometimes you can buy items a few gold less than what they're actually valued at. We go over that on the stream all the time. I'm always sniping items. You want to definitely take a look at items that are not really on people's periphery, right? It's not really in people's periphery, and what I mean by that is that you want to like stop looking at pouches stop looking at the common items that every streamer tells you to go and buy because you can actually use the information that is given out by major streamers to make gold by trading based on sentiment and news right so for example i bought about about you know nine ten eleven days now ago i bought a bunch of life stones life leap stones, life pouches. As the weeks went on, the values of these items kept going up and up and up, right? And then on Wednesday night, I sold because I'd already made 60, 80%. I didn't have to compete with all those people that were buying all week. You know, I didn't have to compete with any of the, uh, like the vast majority of sellers on Thursdays, on, on, you know, on the Thursday, on the reset, because I already made my profit, I wasn't greedy, and I sold, and I made a fuck ton of profit. Um, you know, when you guys watch my streams, I can give you the advice on how to trade against market sentiments. How, you know, you uh, let's talk about Stoops when he said buy all these fish. I'm like, oh, maybe buying fish wasn't the greatest idea, but because so many streamers and big streamers were pushing the idea of buying fish, you could buy the fish and uh, at, at like three or four gold, and then you could have sold it for uh, for thirty. 25 whatever you would have you were making a sick amount of gold and we actually did that uh, However long ago that was a few weeks ago And that's why I kind of got my start was because a lot of people took my advice and they made a fuck ton of gold Anyways, I'm gonna stop sucking my own dick. You guys know where to find me like subscribe whatever the fuck um, Have a good one and good luck on your trades